I want to applaud, first of all, the chairman and uh, subcommittee chairman for their leadership in bringing this bipartisan uh, uh, package to the floor and the ranking member. Uh, Mr. Speaker, nearly every week I get a chance to tour a medical device company in my district, and almost every week I hear a similar story from these companies that talk about how the FDA has become so burdensome and bureaucratic and inefficient that they move the goalposts in the process of the device approval process. And as a result, some of these companies are closing their doors, some of these companies are investing overseas and moving jobs as opposed to keeping them in the home state of Minnesota or here in the United States. And unfortunately, it seems that Washington tends to thrive on these types of bureaucracies and inefficiencies. And I think the package that is before us today is designed to help correct that. And the FDA review process needs to be rigorous, but it also needs to be relevant. We've heard that message time and time again. We have to find ways to streamline and modernize the FDA so that the United States can remain the leader in global medical innovation. This package absolutely moves us closer to meeting all of those goals. These reforms will make the device approval process much more transparent, much more consistent, much more predictable. And specifically, I'm happy that my provisions to streamline the third party review process were included as well. I want to thank uh, the, for the bipartisan support, thank the chairman and urge support by my colleagues. You'll